You know, Kel'Thuzad may have started with an idea in one person's head, but the whole character was created by a team of people, and it's been iterated on over many years by many different teams in different games. You know, probably, I don't know, hundreds of people have worked on some form of Kel'Thuzad over the 20 years this character's been in existence. So one of the amazing things about all Blizzard games is the credits always start with game designed by Blizzard Entertainment. And what that means is anybody here at this company can have a great idea. Our goal is to make the game great, and it doesn't matter where the ideas come from. So if you look at a character like Kel'Thuzad, who has persisted now for so many years, there's a great influence and love and care that's been poured into that character. And I think that's one thing that's very special, not only about Blizzard, but also about Kel'Thuzad himself. One of the things that we say is it takes a Blizzard to make a Blizzard game, and that's the spirit of all of us contributing to everything that we can. And I think that's true on you know, any individual game. It's true on World of Warcraft, it's true on Overwatch, it's true on Heroes, and it's certainly true on, on Kel'Thuzad. Translating a character from one game to another is a monumental challenge. And it was so much fun to reimagine Kel'Thuzad for Hearthstone. I can't wait to see what the Heroes team reimagines Kel'Thuzad as for Heroes of the Storm. <laughs> there is no achievement for losing to Gloom. Being the team that worked on Warcraft 3, it's very important for us to do a great job on Kel'Thuzad. He's such an iconic character, this iconic villain, that players from many games in the Blizzard universe have experienced. And so being able to bring him into our game and do the kind of hero's take of him is a special moment for us. Kel'Thuzad is an iconic Warcraft villain, and it's incredibly important that we do justice to that character, and we can't screw this up. All right, everybody. Welcome to the Kel'Thuzad kickoff meeting. This meeting serves as a place for us all to come together on what Kel'Thuzad has been before. That does not necessarily mean we're telling anybody this is how he has to be for Heroes of the Storm. So the kickoff meeting is where we learn absolutely everything that we need to know about the hero. So all the designers are in the room, the sound designers and the artists, everyone involved is there to listen about his entire backstory. He is killed by Arthas in Anderhal. He is promised immortality in exchange for establishing a cult of the damned. He helps lead the invasion against Warsong Hold, um, still ruling over Nax, and again dies. All of these people show up in this meeting and we're having our first serious conversation about how we make Kel'Thuzad. I think of like mages and wizards and stuff gaining new spells. So I don't even think of him, I think of him as like a general like in War Three. Would it, would it be sacrilegious if he didn't have his hood fully up at the start, but the hood comes up when he finishes it? I wouldn't do it with baseline. I mean, I think I, that's... I wouldn't like to do that. Okay, so yes. <laughs> so at Blizzard, one of our core values is every voice matters, and the kickoff meeting is really an exemplification of that, where everybody from all the different disciplines on the team get to come in and provide their voice on how they feel the character should be, maybe what his skills are, how he should look, how he should animate. I want him to be pretty tall, like close to Cho'Gall height, is there any precedent for him using his chains for anything? Kyle mentioned some stuff about it. Yeah, Kyle's yeah, I would love to use his chains for things. So in a meeting like this, you'll get a little bit of everything. Everything is on the table. We have all of our artists, designers, writers, everybody's in there talking about their favorite stuff. So you'll see everything from how the character looks, how the character plays, or even just crazy stuff like he's got to have huge hands. We're adapting a lot of the WoW look, which I think that'll be like the right mixture of old and new and he's got gigantic hands because Trev wanted it and he got it. We love KT too. Like we went through the same motions, we talked about the same things, we agonized over the compromises to make this work in a game and those compromises were always checked against it has to be perfect, it has to be Kel'Thuzad. It's like the, immediately all I can think of is Frostbolts. If we did a pack of Frostbolts, that's one thing. If he's finding out a single one, then we're going to have problems. Sorry, I'm not supposed to say no in this meeting. No, no, just no. no. <laughs> yes, Frostbolt and more Frostbolts yeah. to make it safe. Yeah. There we go. Sorry. Sorry. We're brainstorming. <laughs> I always love these meetings, and the thing that they always end up doing is they give a lot more questions and answers, and it really fires Kyle into the next phase of the process, which is the paper design. While we're always trying to push every single hero, I think this is one of the heroes that maybe we do want to go a little bit more epic and a little more 
art for. So if there are kinds of, whether it's the, the design itself, the art, the sound, whatever it might be, I think this is kind of the hero where we always hit epic, let's even go like that one step further. Yeah, man, I'm looking for this guy. It's going to be awesome. So the kickoff meeting was great. Everybody had a ton of cool ideas. Uh, one of the biggest challenges for us is nailing the fantasy of a hero. Kel'Thuzad is a hero that's super important to many people, and we really want to make sure that we execute on that fantasy. Hitting the fantasy of a character is, again, really important, especially for Heroes of the Storm, because Blizzard's lore and the characters, they run so deep. They've had so many years of development, and everybody knows and loves them. The anticipation is extremely large for Kel'Thuzad at the moment, and we're super excited to actually start working on him because we, we had to find the right time for him, and we finally found it. And yeah, every census that comes out for every player that we see that wants a hero, Kel'Thuzad is always at the top of that list. I've wanted to do this, like this is my like dream job basically, and so Kel'Thuzad is a hero that I've always loved. Yeah, he's very close to my heart. And I, this is the hero that, since joining the team, I've wanted to do the most. So I'm super excited to finally be bringing Kel'Thuzad to the game. With a hero like Kel'Thuzad, there's a lot of weight on us to uh, really nail this hero. But I have very high confidence in this team because they have been so successful with so many other iconic Blizzard heroes that the community has really loved. It's finally happening. Kel'Thuzad is almost real. Uh, Kyle's going to put together his first real stab at the character. It's what they call the paper design. Uh, it's his first shot to say, hey, this is what we think Kel'Thuzad is. It should be awesome to see what he comes up with.